Welcome to Cormorant Roasters. Um, today we just want to show you how the diffuser work on the roaster. We've had a lot of requests from people explaining what the difference is between using the roaster um, with the diffuser in the open and closed position. So firstly I just want to show you, this is the, the kind of lever that we pull and push to control the um, diffuser. And in the closed position it closes up like that and then back into the open position. Just to explain that there is an aluminium heat shield that fits in here and seals it from the cover but it also closes the environment in inside there. Let's get that out of the way. Now what happens is with the diffuser in the open position you get direct heat from the burner going through these gaps and it heats the drum up directly. You can actually see the heating up lines on the drum where it heats the drum up and um, those gaps are about five millimeters so the travel of the diffuser is only five millimeters it only pulls out for five millimeters and back for five millimeters but as you can see in the open position heat will go directly from the burner through these gaps onto the drum heating the drum directly and uh, in the closed position you get the direct heat off the drum it heats this grid up and um, we'll do a video where I will show you um, part of this actually and um, it will show you the effect on Artisan when you open and close the diffuser and uh, so the, the main difference is when you're roasting with it in open position with your beans running in the drum it is more of a conduction roast so direct heat from the drum onto the beans Obviously, with the airflow getting drawn in the back of the roaster and through the beans, the hot air also roasts the beans. With it closed, it is more of a convection roast. This grit gets hot, that hot air is drawn through, but the rate at which your drum heats up at slows down by a lot. So it's more just hot air drawn through the roaster that um, will roast your beans. So to explain how the airflow system work in the roaster, you see there's four holes here where the air is drawn in. That's obviously air that helps with the ignition and the burning of the burner. And there's four at the back. So when your airflow is on, air is drawn um, so from the fans at the back into this chamber here with the power, power valve closed your flower valve has got a valve in here but the air is drawn outwards so you've got air flowing sucking through here through this cavity that sits here and it comes through the chute so and diagonally across the drum and from the burner so when your fans are on you have fans off. if the fans are on the burner heat is drawn through the diffuser into the back of the, the drum diagonally across it goes in this little gap at the chute from the um, oh, comes actually well diagonally across through this gap this gap that's is sealed off because the cover is at here so this is channel and it's drawn through um, the this kind of v-shaped um, chimney or chamber and um, then it's drawn back into this bigger chamber here and out with the fans. Right, and on its way through uh, into this big chamber here, you obviously have your chaff chamber. And your chaff chamber, the air is drawn through this gap here, it collects your chaff. And um, from there, the rest is expelled um, out. Right, so I hope that um, makes uh, more sense. And what we will um, include in this video is I will put a section in on um, Artisan and just show the effect of during a warm-up cycle when you close the diffuser during the warm-up cycle and open it. Um, obviously that translates to when you're roasting your beans that same effect will be um, on your beans and uh, we'll put a little section in there just showing on the video um, how that works. All right, thank you for watching um, the video and please subscribe to our channel.